What's going on, Tactical Family? It is El Gato, the Gucci Gunner, and today we are going over a couple shooting breakdowns. Man, I tell you, I don't know what's going on with the world, but it seems like every day that goes by, people are just getting more and more unattached with reality. They're getting more and more just overcome by this evil that's lurking over the world right now. Anywho, we got two videos for you. One, we're going to discuss... Why you shouldn't be in areas where there's a lot of drinking going on late at night and also in that same instance, why you need to let your pride go, why it's not good to to, to engage with people in physical altercations in such a setting, right? I'm not saying bow down and don't defend yourself, but I'm saying you got, you got to know when to pick your fights and when to just let them walk away and think they have it by being a bigger person and just, you know, letting it go. And the second video also has to deal with pride once again. The pride of the human ego is like, Argh. but why? Why? You got to let your pride go because it, it, it ends up bad for uh, most of the time, you know. And we're going to see that in both cases here. We have two shooting incidents that we're going to recover or going to cover. Sorry, let me get my camera in focus here. There we go. We're going to, uh, I sure I want to see this ugly. But we got two videos we're going to cover. We're going to be right back. Stay tuned for this exciting breakdown. Welcome back. All right, as promised, as promised, we're going to get right into the first video. This one comes out of uh, Daytona Beach at a, adult, at a Daytona Beach bar. We're going to jump right in. Now, before we start, uh, I'm going to warn you, these videos, as you can see on the screen, contains graphic content. So if you have any little ones or if you're squeamish or things like that, it's not a lot of gore and blood, but it is graphic content. Um, being being shown here, so per guidelines and YouTube and stuff like that, we're gonna show this content. We're gonna break it down and go from there. Just have to let you know it's graphic. All right, turn this volume down a little bit. All right, so first thing you can see right here, not a good situation. We got people trying to break it up. Looks like break up this fight. Looks like a fight going on between one, two, two people so far. This one's on the ground, so three people, maybe four. There was someone else involved. So, oh, this guy just okay. So as you see, our, our suspect right here, not really in immediate danger to use deadly force. Um, and to say, I don't really know what happened at the end of this. Uh, I was able to find out the person was arrested, but I'm not sure what charges have been brought up, but we'll discuss that as we go through. Let me stop pausing. Shout out Whiskey Mondays. Okay, my thing is, I know there's an element of shock when you're probably intoxicated like these people. You're in this environment, it's kind of not chaotic. I'm not going to say it's chaotic, but it's a lot going on. You hear that first shot ring off. And no one does anything for the most part. Damn, first shot. Now, this is the smart group right here. They're like, oh, snap. Shots fired. We're going to retreat. Now, understandably, these two, I believe, are with the shooter. This guy's kind of in shock. He's grabbing his face almost. He's like, what just happened? She goes and, bam, fires another shot. 
Now this dimwit right here, both of these re dimwits, I'm gonna slip, sorry. The shooter shoots in the direction at the victim, but also directly in, in line with her friend. Okay, whatever. But then again, you got these two guys. They're just standing here like, oh, shots are going off. Oh, I'm just going to stand here. This person is obviously unstable. Okay. I say that because there was no need to produce a firearm and shoot. Okay. No need. Now, granted, she might say, oh, I was in fear for my life. But that is uh, looking at the footage. That's going to be broken down very fast in court. You're not in fear of your life. Because if you go back here. You have one gentleman right here trying to break the fight apart, trying to break it up. He's interjected himself in between. Now, I'm pointing at the camera, the screen like y'all can see my fingers pointing. Right here, that is not an imminent threat. It is not. There's no one currently attacking her except the person that this guy is trying to hold back. There's no one attacking her. She's got a handful of hair. There, let's go. Let's go. Now, this is the important part that when it goes to court, it's going to be broken down. This part right here, the arm has gone. Let go. You have another person coming and telling you, back off. It's cool. It's over with. But she's still reaching for a firearm. And bam. Bam skis. And now we have. See, I don't know. Man, this is tough. I don't know the, the uh, condition of our victim here. I don't know if they're in critical condition. I don't know. You know, I don't know how bad off they are. So this can go a lot of different ways as far as charges. Two shots. So you already have, you know, at the least assault with a deadly weapon. But I'm going to amp it up. I'm going to jump it up and say probably premeditated murder. Or, or attempted murder, sorry. And I don't know what degrees they're going. But I'm going to say attempted murder. Because um, you have intention there. God forbid this person passed away, then she's facing murder charges automatically. But there's an intent to cause harm with this firearm here. So that's where we're at with this case. So I'm gonna I'm gonna let it play. This is too many video. This dude now ran out his shoes. Look like some fresh Air Forces. <laughs> now we have another charge that's about to come up here soon. This guy right here is trying to render aid. I don't know if that's his friend, girlfriend, whatever. The suspect comes back pointing the gun. So now you have more charges. Unlawful brandishing of a weapon. That itself, what she's doing right now, right now, pointing the gun. Depending what state now in Florida, this is going to be, I believe, another assault with a deadly weapon charge. Because you don't have to physically hit the person or shoot them. Just presenting and pointing at them in a, in a manner in which you in possibly intent to shoot i believe uh is also a charge of uh of assault with a deadly weapon because you now you hear this guy saying something to the suspect and suspect screaming back up back up obviously this guy is unarmed she can see that but she's still pointing a firearm a loaded firearm after having fired twice at another person This individual is severely unstable in the mind, I tell you. Severely unstable. Needs to be apprehended. I'm glad that she was arrested, but needs to serve severe jail time. I'm talking years on years on years. No less than 20, no less than 30. I'm talking 40, 40, mi 40 minimum, man. This is type of person, you let this type of person off easy on a crime like this, they're going to think they're above the system. They're going to think they can do this again. And next, who knows the extent they're going to go. I hate this new soft on crime stuff. <sighs> a lot of people are going to probably, oh, they were drunk. Okay, I don't care. First of all, I don't care. There, There is a law, okay, in Florida. You cannot have a firearm inside of a bar. It's illegal. Now, say you're going to a restaurant like Chili's or like Outback Steakhouse, you can carry a firearm there because of the uh, alcohol to food ratio. There's more food, uh, per se, being served than there is alcohol at an establishment like that. But if 
you uh as this is a Daytona Beach bar. So just by you can tell this is a place where it's just majority alcohol, right? So that's probably another charge for illegally carrying a firearm because you see it was in her purse unless she went and retrieved it. But I don't think she did because they were in, involved in a fight. At least that's from, from where the video picked up. So she was illegally carrying a firearm inside of the bar. It's another charge. This guy, I tell you, he's brave. Uh, look, I can't, I can't say what I would have done right here. But this, she done shot this person twice already. And now he's down there. I don't know this brave and stupidity. And then it's just maybe he's just in shock of what happened. But she done shot the other girl twice already. And now she's pointing the gun at you saying, back up, back up. Look, I know you want to render aid and whatnot. But at this point, I can't say personally I would still remain down. Now, if this is my wife or my children or something, then yeah. But I don't know again. I don't know the relationship between him and the sus and the victim. So, but I mean, he's he kind of stood his ground. If you want to call it standing your ground. Another thing I don't understand: like these people act like there are not cameras everywhere. There's cameras, three hundred sixty degrees. There's cameras everywhere, especially on an establishment. They need security security footage to protect their establishment. You don't do not think there's going to be cameras around capturing you attempting to murder this, murder someone? Oh my gosh! Making us look bad in Florida. You're not making us look good. So here we see the suspect. It looks like oh, I didn't catch this before. Looks like still aiming the gun. Right here, right here. Looking back and still aims the gun again. Oh my goodness! Prosecution is going to eat her alive. And now self-defense goes out the window. I'll tell you why here in a second. So we're going to fast forward a little bit. Right here. Okay, suspect leaving again. I don't know if she dumped the gun. I don't know if she put it back in her purse. But Tweedledee and Tweedledum and Tweedle dipshit over here. They're all together. Now, the reason self-defense goes out of the window which it went out of the window a long time ago. It goes out of the window because you are now leaving the scene, scene of the crime, okay? There was no one returning fire at you or anything like that. You brought out your gun, shot twice, and now you're leaving the scene of the crime, okay? So self-defense goes out of the window. Self-defense, you would do what you have done, distance yourself from the situation, call the police immediately, okay? And say, this is what happened. This is where I'm at. This is where the firearm is. I'm willing to cooperate. Da, 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 da. But you're leaving the scene of the crime. Self-defense is out of the window. And apparently this bar the, uh, has had quite the uh, history of violent attacks and crimes taking place. So after this one, they're probably finally going to be shut down or not. Who knows? Fast forward a little bit. So now they're trying to render aid. I don't know where the the victim was shot at. It looked like in the torso maybe or something like that. All right. So that's the end of that video there. Wow. A lot to unpack. You got a, 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 a scroll worth of charges on the suspect there. From what I can think of. Forget unlawful brandishing of a weapon. You got firing of a weapon. Um, what do they call it? In a public place or something like that, like criminal discharge of a weapon, something like that. And I say that that's a charge because there was no need for her to shoot the uh, suspect or the victim. Now you have probably an, at the least aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. Honestly, I don't see that being the charge. I see probably attempted murder charge. Honestly, because you fire it twice, you fire it once. You see, and, and again, self defense cannot be used here because after that first shot, you had the audacity to freaking talk crap and then shoot again. So I think we're looking at it possibly, if this person is still alive, we're looking at attempted murder charges. Maybe one or two counts because of two shots. I don't know how that works out. But actually, probably two counts of attempted murder because two separate shots. So. 
if the person survived. If the person, unfortunately, deceased, then she's looking at murder charges, murder one. Because um, murder one, you have to uh, prove intent. It may get dropped to, uh, you know, a second degree murder. But from this video, I think I see intent. So I'm seeing murder charge, unlawful uh, possession of a firearm inside of a bar or establishment, whatever, discharging that firearm and what uh, in a public public place. What else? I mean, there's a probably some other charges that I don't know of or know the legal terms for that she's going to get charged with. But anywho, wow, wow. Wow. What that, that I mean, Florida, man, what are we doing? Is this how we're teaching our, our wives and daughters to, to, to act, just go out and shoot people? This ain't Florida, man, for anybody watching us not in Florida. Look, man, we don't we don't just. All right. Look, we don't just go around shooting people at bars. OK. Anywho, Whiskey Monday. It's Buchanan's, man. Pretty good. But yeah, that's 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 that video, man. I mean. Now, I want to talk about pride. This video starts off pretty much at, uh, you know, the scuffle going down. You got to learn to lose your pride. I don't know the backstory behind this, you know, or why they were fighting. But you have to you have to step away from your pride. You have to not let your ego and your pride get the best of you. Yeah, you're with your friends. You had, you know, had, especially when you've been having some drinks. You got to be able to just let it go. Eat it, man. Whatever happened, it ain't worth it, as we can see. Because look here, you know, it, it's not worth it. What happens in the end? You get shot, you get stabbed, you get hurt, you get jumped. Look, your pride has to be the least of your worries. What people are going to say about you has to be the least of your worries. Because now you're fighting for your life. All right? It's not worth it, okay? Your pride has to be shut down, okay? Now we're going to talk about nothing good comes from this type of situations. There's alcohol. There's pride. There's a bunch of, I'm going to say a lot of testosterone because we had two girls fighting. But there's a lot of emotions running high, right? So a lot of emotions running high. Then you have words being exchanged. Then, then you have, you know, hold on, sorry. Then you have words being exchanged. You have, you know, whatever other feelings and emotions are coming out of this situation. And then you have a gun being produced. Now, I've seen a lot of videos where people are, I don't know why they think when someone pulls a gun, they're not going to use it. Not saying this is the case here because obviously the victim didn't see the gun. But there's been videos of people like somebody pulls a gun and they're just like still talking crap. They ain't they they act like look if somebody pulls a gun, they're probably gonna use it. So it's your best bet to avoid these type of situations at all costs. I'm not saying don't go out to a bar and have fun, but if you find yourself in a situation where things are getting a little out of out of out of hand or you're starting to get some type of confrontation. Don't feed into it. Don't don't you know give in to to the uh, the name calling, trying to prove something to your girlfriend or to your friends that are around or whatever. It's not worth it in the end. It really isn't. It's not worth it. Somebody bumps you too hard. Let it go. They out there trying to prove something. Don't be the proof that they trying to prove. You know, it, it, it's just. And it's sad to see that these are pretty young people. It's sad to see that this is what this young person resulted to and attempting to take someone's life over what? An argument over pride. And honestly, a man looking at this is kind of cold. This is kind of cold, man. Very cold. She just pulls the gun out and just straight shoots her. Backs up and takes another shot. This person needs to be locked up, you know? Maybe some counseling while in prison, but locked up for sure. Oh, see? Hold on. 
That kind of blew past me the first time. She's looking at her. The victim's looking at her. Why didn't you say gun, 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 get out or something or try to run? See, victim's looking at her. Oh, wait, okay, okay, I apologize. She brought the gun out pretty fast. Okay, yeah, she had it kind of tucked in her purse still. See, and at this point, victim, you should have just let it go. You're still talking crap to this person. And this is where situation awareness comes in. I understand this gentleman here is trying to break it up, but he needs to be aware. He needs to be aware of what is going on. Who is this person with? What else may, be she, may she be trying to do? Because if he, if he weren't so focused on the, breaking the victim away, at that point where the victim moved her hand, he should have been focusing on the uh, the suspect here. Had he been doing that, he would have saw. And, and, and another thing, he's he's not even really trying to break her hand away from holding the girl's hair. He's just trying to talk to her. If he would have turned his head and tried to physically remove her hand from her hair, he probably would have saw her digging in her purse for something. Now, if somebody go to reach and it ain't for car keys if they ain't by their car. He would have saw all this action right here. Situation awareness. And then this 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 person here with the blue jeans should have. She probably knew that she was carrying a firearm. Oh, but see, okay. She went to bend down to pick something up. Right there. That's not enough time. Damage is done before it's even done. It's not enough time for the victim to have moved. And thank God she didn't pull pull this poor guy in front of her to take to take her bullet. <laughs> hey, this is consequences of your actions. Stop fighting out here. I don't fight with people. Look, you come to me want to fight? You want to be getting all in my face? Cool, whatever. I say, hey, please, back up. I, I, don't, want it. I don't want no problems. You call me whatever you want. Call me all the names of the book. I'll give you the book for the names to call me. <laughs> I don't want no problems. I'm good. Now you cross the line and become violent. That's when things can change. But other than that, I don't care. You can call me what you want to call me. Stare me down. Don't spit on me either. Don't, don't, don't put no bodily fluids on me. I don't spit. That's okay. But anywho, man, that's your bullet. She took it though. <laughs> Damn, right there. So you hear this, they hear the crap talking, running out of the mouth. See, now this is where I say it's attempted murder. Your life is not in danger anymore. Oh, goodness. Sorry about that. All right. Your life is no longer in danger. And that second shot. And it's retard. Oops. I'm going to run that back. And then this dimwit. It's just a dumb word, dimwit. Takes another shot as her friend is standing right next to the victim. Damn near shoots her friend. Now, see, it's, this is so cold and callous, man. Like, just no sign of remorse. No sign of remorse. And then comes back. Neither one of them. Neither one of them. She, she might get charged too as an accomplice. That's why I believe in hand to hand combat. That's why I believe in training and knowing how to fight. Because there's so many cowards out here nowadays that the first thing they want to result to is their gun. Because they're afraid to get whooped. Now, that's that's a problem with society nowadays. These young kids, man, they're afraid to get a whooping. They're afraid to get hands put on them. Whatever. All right, but yeah, so that was a wild, wild situation there. Don't be hanging out at bars late at night. If you are, maintain your cool. If somebody presses you, if they're not 
causing immediate danger to your life, let it go. It ain't worth it in the end, especially nowadays. Everybody's packing a gun. Everybody's got something to prove and look cool, look tough or whatever. It's not worth it. But my suggestion, buy a bottle, Buchanan's, and drink it at home. Do a review or something. Have some friends over. Have a a, a group review. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, we're going to get on to our next video. Now, this one, I have no idea where it comes from. Where it comes from. Where it's out of. But it starts here. Apparently, it's a road rage incident. Apparently, the guy here in this Range Rover was cut off by someone else. I'm going to play it. And we'll go back and kind of break it down a little bit. Okay, let's see. So here he's busting U-turn. He kind of seems like he's looking at whoever's recording this video. Like, I see you recording, but I'm already committed. <laughs> so here... Jeez, jeez. What the heck is going on? Why? I have why for both people. This the victim and the suspect. The suspect first. You just went out of your way. You made a whole U-turn to go back and looks like possibly murder someone. Again, I don't know the backstory on this. I don't know where it's out of, but it's a lot of mountains and stuff. So I'm saying somewhere up north or Midwestish or Northwest. I don't know. It ain't Florida. <laughs> but no, I mean, this is obviously not a laughing matter. But why? Why? Because somebody cut you off. Road rage incidents have been on an increase over the years. Yes, Florida. Florida man did have one too recently earlier this year. He un emptied a whole magazine. And he, that guy was actually found, he turned himself in, but he was found uh, guilty on his charges. But he's not in, 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 in any immediate danger. Now, this situation, if this guy who got out the vehicle died, this guy's looking at murder, murder one probably, because there's intent. He was not in any danger. He, can't, he, he was moving away from whatever had occurred, came back, and let off, it seems to be four shots. Let's see. Now, is it worth it? In the At the end of the day, is it worth it? Are the consequences worth the actions? Somebody cut you off. You could have just let it go. So what? They flicked you off, had some words. They threw their hand up at you. Is it worth it now that you're sitting in jail probably, rotting away? Can't see your family, can't see your, your children anymore. Your nice little Range Rover Evo kid, you can't drive it. All your hard work is gone. Went down the drain. It was for nothing. Because you want to go back and you can't take a few words. That's what's wrong with it. What's wrong with society? Nobody's so sensitive nowadays. You can't take some words. You can't take some words. Are you that soft? You that much of a coward? You can't take some words that somebody says to you? These are the main dudes talking about how tough and how hard they are. And they do this and do that. But they can't take a couple words. Somebody call them a couple some words. They want to get all mad and bent out of shape and go shoot somebody. Some cowards, bro. Man, straight cowards. And anywho. Let's, so here we. Now, unfortunately, the suspect should have stayed in his vehicle. I'm guessing when he saw this guy make a U-turn. I'm Okay. Guy in there looks like an old school Chevy Tahoe right here. On some rims, some big rims. Sorry. On some rims. On also and this video is out of from uh World Star Hip Hop. So go show them some love on this video. Anywho, I'm guessing guy in the little in the Tahoe right here did cut this guy off. Right? Guy in the Range Rover got pissed. I mean, I'm in a Range Rover. Oh, you know, mom got a fancy car. Whatever. Got pissed. Guy in the Tahoe maybe said some words or Range Rover maybe said some words. Range Rover continued driving. As Range Rover's driving by, the guy in the Tahoe is throwing some words up. 
Range Rover flips a Yui and comes back. He's already made up his mind. Well, you gonna you gonna say something to me? I'm gonna say something to you. I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it talk to you real quick. All right now, where the suspect messed up, or the victim, sorry, messed up, getting out of his vehicle. The guy is making a U-turn, so you know he's probably cut like that. He's 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 built. He's built like that. I'm guessing. No, he's about that life, as the young ones would say nowadays. I'm about that life. Okay. Why would you get out the car? You see this guy's making a U-turn. You think he's you calling his bluff? Is apparently it seems like he's called his bluff on this one. The guy's making a U-turn. I don't think you want to get out the vehicle. Even if you didn't think he had a gun. You're getting out of the vehicle. He's in a he's in a in a Range Rover, or it don't matter. He's in a car. You don't think he might even run you over? Y'all in exchange words, or there's a heated, you know, had a heat, heated exchange. You don't think he'll run you over? That's where the suspect messed up getting out of the vehicle. He would have stayed in the vehicle. He would have at least, if he hadn't had it in park, he would have at least been able to take off once he saw suspect produce a firearm. But as we see right here, suspect rolls up, and he's out the window. He's out of the window with it. That was that, that there. How mad this dude in the Range Rover had to be. Like, he was upset for what? Why are you so mad? He's out of the window. Oh. And I'm going to say probably this guy, I'm I'm going to say he probably didn't make it. It looks like that first first two shots did it to him. Especially at that range. But get again, if he stayed in his vehicle, he could have popped it in drive real quick, had some type of cover or not really cover concealment per se because these doors didn't really stop in many rounds and took off but unfortunately he's he's laying on the freaking ground man i i, I hope he survived i really do i don't know who he has a family he's got children a wife i don't know i pray he survived but just looking at this i don't i don't think he did that first shot, it probably made contact with him. But you can see he's like, oh, snap. Dude's got a gun. You can see him flinch away, but it's too late at that point. It's too late. So let's talk with three shots. Four shots, like I said. That, that second shot. That's why I say I don't think this guy made it. He he slumps. And then he ate two more or one more at the least. Right there. Oh, yeah, he ate three of them. This dude in the Range Rover is cold, man. Cold. I think he ate all four shots. You can see he follows them on the way down. He's out. Boom, 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 and boom, and drives off. Jeez, man! Look, my prayers go out to uh, what the heck is this? Anyway, anyhow, my prayers go out to uh, both victims in uh, these two separate incidents. What can you do? What can you say, man? Let the pride go. If you're in a road rage incident, incident, and somebody cuts you off, let them cut you off. If your, your vehicle's not damaged, your, your, your feelings may be hurt. You don't own the road. Whatever. Let them, let them go. Let it go. It's not worth it. You know? I don't know if this guy had children in the car or whatever. Let it go. It's not worth it. You don't, you don't know what that person who cut you off is going through. They might have just got fired. They might have just lost everything in a lawsuit. They might ha not have man, nothing. To live for. I got this whiskey to drink. 
they might not have nothing to live for. So, I mean, hey, think about it. Weigh it out before it's too late. Again, it's El Gato, the Gucci Gunner. Too hype. So, Gato, the Gucci Gunner, and I'm